Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat, and it is Marguerite Miller collage time, Wednesday. That's what I usually do on Wednesday. So um, it's the Collage Weekly Assignments by Marguerite Miller, and I will leave a link to her YouTube video in the description box below this video. Um, you, there you can find out uh, where you can get the prompts and all that kind of thing. Um, it's a 52 week challenge, so one a week for a year. And it's a five prompt challenge with a bonus. So you can choose to do five prompts each week, um, either by using all the five that she gives you, or you can replace one of the five that she gives you with the bonus, or you can do all six. I usually do all six just because I like to do that. But you can do it either way. Um, yeah, so just go check out Marguerite Miller's YouTube channel and you'll be able to get information where you can get the prompts and all that. Okay, so we are on week 37. We're going to do a quick cruise through here. All of these uh, collages are in um, a playlist. I have a playlist called Marguerite Miller Collage Challenge or CW Planner Collage Challenge. Um, she calls it the hashtag CW Planner, whichever number of the week, because it's the Collage Weekly Planner Challenge. And um, she sells the planner where you can do your collages if you'd like. I just chose to get a large sketchbook, just a plain sketchbook that I got at um, Michael's. And um, I wanted to do it that way because I like the bigger surface area. But of course, do it however you know you like it the best. So anyways, like if you need a planner, that type of thing. I just, I don't really use planners, even though I probably should. So this was last week's, 36. And then I always put the prompts on the back because I just don't like them. Um, on my collage, but you can do it on the collage also. So anyhow, what we have this week, we're going to go this direction this week. We have anything that starts with S. So I chose the C. So we're going to use this picture of, you know, kind of like underwater, above water, that. Uh, text in a language that is not your native tongue. And so all three of these right here are not my native tongue. I'm not sure what this is. I think this is either Italian or Latin. I got this from uh, Rachel at Roxy Creations. I ordered one of her little uh, sets of um, composition notebooks, kids' composition notebooks or student composition notebooks. And I think it might be Latin, but I, I don't really know. I'm, I'm not gonna say I know, because I don't. And then I have, I believe this is Japanese, but I could be wrong about that too but they aren't my language. <laughs> and then I just threw this in because I might need a little extra paper. Okay, um, a car, I chose this car that looks like a boat. <laughs> I found some crazy concept cars that we're gonna be using. Translucent paper, such as tracing paper, vellum, or tissue paper. So I, I chose uh, transparency paper. I inked on this using one of my stencils. Um, I believe this is my classic ladies two, the second one that has the lattice uh, stencil with it. So you get the lady's face and the lattice stencil. So I just used Tim Holtz blueprint sketch, which is the little bit more blue purple. And then mermaid lagoon is the mer turquoise color. And I just stenciled it. And then I splatted it with some water just by taking my paintbrush and, you know, doing that kind of thing with water. So it came out all speckly. It was actually after I did some watercolor. Um, I watercolored this piece of transparency paper that we can also use somehow in the collage. So that's my transparency paper or vellum or whatever. Something with fins. I have all these crazy cars like this truck was made to look like a shark but these ones are like actual concept cars I don't know what years they're from but anyway I like printed some multiple times and they just kind of gave me that um fish or whale or obviously this looks like a shark but anyway that's that's what I have for something with a fin is cars with a fin and I thought about going with like 1960s um type cars with the big fins on the back but I just couldn't figure out how to tie it all together so I decided to go full on the C with our S. Okay and then I have a receipt from Walgreens. All right and this one says zero because it was for a prescription but anyhow 
it's a receipt. I don't generally keep a whole lot of, well, I do keep them for business purposes, but I don't want to use those in a collage because I need them for my taxes. So anyway, uh, something that starts with an S. So let's see, we have our, our C image and it is going to take up quite a bit of this. I couldn't think of how that was going to work when I didn't have the uh, sketchbook with me. So I just wanted to make sure I had some extras and that's why I chose to do some watercolor in that. But I may use this still um, around the back and then also I have another idea of a way to use it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to kind of tear this and get some pieces to use kind of in the background. So how y'all doing? I hope you are having a wonderful, wonderful day. We are having a wonderful day. It's lovely weather. It's gotten quite hot again, but it's still very pretty out, so I am not complaining. We are getting smoky again, though, because the smoke starts to settle in when the wind goes away. <laughs> when the wind's blowing a little bit, obviously we don't have too bad of a problem, but when the wind quits, you know, you all know. I'm sure you've been there this year at some point in one, one place or another. So we're just kind of choking on it, you know. <laughs> it's uh, it's so aggravating this time of the year. Oh my gosh, hold on. Oh, that's good. I just knocked the whole shelf off and everything went falling down. So I'll put that back later. I apologize for that. I lifted up on this and just hit the shelf and knocked my little box that has all my bees in it and all that off and a nail apparently you never know what you might find around here sorry for that loud crash though i want to do some in circles if this will cut this you know um this type of paper doesn't usually cut very good but it's okay i just kind of want that idea of a circle happening it would help if I cut it with um, some regular paper behind it. So I'll get one of these and do that. So yeah, but other than smokiness, we're having a good day. That works better. Let's do a smaller one. Try not to knock down the whole thing again. This one's a lot smaller. I need another one kind of in between. I have that Fiskars one, but it doesn't work worth being, so. Use those for something else. Everybody's home today. I try to do two videos on Mondays just because that helps me get through the week. You know, when I need to cut stuff on the Glowforge and that, um, I can do that if I get my videos done. So that's what I like to do if possible. Doesn't always happen, but I try. Yeah, so that's fun to do the Tim Holtz ink and then splatter it with water. I'm sure you guys have already seen that before, but <laughs> I forget about those kind of things. And then it's like, oh yeah, that would probably work. Oh my gosh, I just have stuff everywhere from that little box. That little box holds all kinds of jazz. So I'm going to have to clean all that up now. And yes, my fingers did get dyed from the ink. So who knows what this craziness will turn out like, but <laughs> those prompts, I'm telling you, I like things to kind of all go together if possible, you know, in some way, like, you know, some sort of story or something, but sometimes it's really hard to get it to, to come together, but I think, I think this will work. I think so. 
that's very crunchy. That would make some awesome pages. Like I said, all I did to that transparency paper was uh, use watercolor all over it. So it's a little, a little idea that you could do on a um, like transparency paper envelope, or you know, if you wanted a whole page in your journal, all crinkly and awesome like that, that'd be great. <sighs> Sorry, it drives me crazy with those little fuzzies everywhere. go there and I need this for glue. It had some other ink or something on it so I'm like I'll just use that for a glue page. I think I'm gonna put these down first. Ah oh, this side's really yeah let's put glue on this side. I mean listen to how crinkly that is. It's very cool. Corners. Turn it this way. I like how it looks kind of ripply too, like water. It's fun. All right, so maybe I'll take another little strip. Oh, I did have that little strip. Put that over here. I need to see how far we're going here because I want them roughly the same sort of distance on either side, if possible. Okay. Those like that. Kind of even almost like this rough edge there. That's kind of cool. We could do some like over the top too. Let's do that. Yeah, these these prompts are <laughs> like for a couple of weeks they started to feel not too difficult, but then this week again it was like, oh my gosh, I don't even know what to do for that. Like I can usually find one thing that I want to sort of run with when I'm doing a collage. But um, yeah, it's getting tricky, tricky. Just do that. Down here more. Oh my gosh, glue. Okay, I think I'll put this one over here. Just sort of like that. And the other ones I'm gonna go on top with. So I'm gonna take this, get glue on it. I've got glue everywhere on this piece of paper, so that is not gonna help me very much. I need a different one. Has made such a mess. I think I pushed too hard on my glue stick is what the problem is. Get a little overzealous. Ah. Calm down. Okay, we just have to make sure we put the <laughs> coral at the bottom. <laughs> I wouldn't surprise myself at all if I did it the wrong way. Kind of like that, I think. That looks roughly in the middle. Roughly, very roughly. Let's come up just a little. Having the blue fingers makes me nervous because I keep thinking I'm going to get blue on stuff. 
but it's not coming off, so I don't think that's a problem. Why am I struggling with this so much? It's really hot in here, so I don't know if the um, glue is just having a hard time or what. more I think some of the ink probably shouldn't ink these okay where is I don't know. I was looking for my little um, eraser thing, but I think it might have fallen behind my desk when I knocked down the whole shelf thing. I'm going to put these back so they're not in the way. I'm just going to knock everything over today. Okay. There's that much. And then let's see. Where do we want to put... I know I want this boat car, like, up high. Obviously, like, it's on top of the water. It would be good, I thought about cutting and putting the wheels in, but then it loses its car form. Do you see what I'm saying? So I decided I wanted to keep the wheels. Then it just looks like a boat. So I need a car. I don't know if this car actually works in water because I know there were those. That was another thing they did in the 60s a lot. Sorry, my husband's sneezing. <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't know if that actually worked or not. But anyway, there it is. And then I thought I could take the receipt and kind of like... Make them almost like plants in the in the water. Do you know what I mean? Like the algae or whatever. And I thought I could do the same with some of this. With the foreign language. Might have been good to do these in the blue instead, but it's okay. I think I'm just going to kind of tack them down at the bottom for now. Because I don't know where I want, like I might want something behind them or I don't know. I guess I'll just set them there for now. My husband got... Um, an air fryer for our house and I'm trying a, a picnic pork roast in it but we're doing them like carnitas so I'm a little excited to see how that turns out I can smell it that's why I said that you guys are probably like okay where'd that come from but yeah it smells good Do that one very wavy, did I? Uh, we'll just tuck it behind this one a little more. Um, where's the other? 
not sure on direction of this, so I apologize if I'm not going the right direction. It's always hard to tell when, you know, you don't know. You don't know what it is. Okay, so those will be like my plants. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> Okay, um, I might put some other stuff. I just, I just need to figure this out. So that would be fun to look like it's diving down. See the, um, what is that piece? I don't know what that was. I think that was supposed to go away. We could put the shark kind of, like I thought it would be good to have him sort of in here. Because he's hard to see in that blue, with that blue color. So maybe I'll put another bit of writing or something behind him. I'll use all of these. Some could be kind of hiding back here. And I like these little guys like as a school of fish. If I can find the other one, what did I do with it? Oh, there it is. I don't know if I'll do that one. I kind of feel like it's too crunched up. Maybe something like that. I think that'll work. And I thought I could use bits of this in other spots as well. Kind of want a long piece. Here or something. Yeah. All right, so we're going to do something like that. I did that. Okay. And then I'm going to put my number up here, even though this seven is really big. Can get a hold of the three. <laughs> Something like that. I think that's it. Okay, let's get all our little doodads glued down here. Green's one is got stuff on it already. Ink that is, and this one too. I can put this one in the middle. Oh, why did I do that already? Durr. I like to see the cash there in that because that tells me, you know, it's a receipt kind of thing. Do I want to put this behind? Okay, and then I need to figure out how I want this. Get 
be kind of like that, I think. to put stuff so it doesn't get glued down on here. Inking it with the lid. <laughs> Sorry, I get quiet when I'm concentrating on these things. Be completely covered in ink. That's the problem with doing the little, the little bitties. Yeah, I don't know if Rachel has any more of those composition notebooks, but they're pretty cool. And I always love anything with that writing from, you know, other languages. Okay, so this one. And this one. Not get a hold of these. Trying to figure out how do I want this? Kind of want it. to get it glued right okay I need to switch out my paper again okay. like this I think can't see his tail fins but This one here, and I might put another one kind of underneath of him. Hmm. I don't know. I think I'm gonna just put that like that. I don't think it'll look right. More receipt is kind of what I think I need. Can't really see it that well. Hmm. I don't think I want any more on there. I think that's good. Okay, let's get this glued down. <laughs> I 
That's kind of cool, huh? It looks like he's diving out of the water. Maybe we need to do that. Don't eat these. I don't think so. Sorry. This is tedious. Watching me do this. <laughs> Everything's so tiny. I think I need one like diving like that. Yeah, I like that. It's funny. Like they're whale watching <laughs> or something. I don't even know. It's so goofy. <laughs> Uh, um, blue Amy. So these definitely have fins. <laughs> okay. Do I want to put a little receipt anywhere? Like maybe just this part with a little bit of the barcode or something. And then our 37 here. Oh my gosh, my fingers are so sticky. I can't even hang on to this. And shaky too to top it off. Oh, come on. Anything fine motor. And I'm just like... Big shaking ding dong. Oh, the things you take for granted when you're young, let me tell you. It's crazy. The weird stuff you get as you age. My dad had the same <clears throat> problem. My sister doesn't have it. I don't know. She looked up. She's probably, she, you know, she got like migraines and stuff from my mom's side. So, you know, y'all take your pick what crazy thing to get. Seven's just a little too tall, but it's okay. I guess I could snip it a little, couldn't I? Mm, it's fine. All right. So I think we got all the things. Anything that starts with S. So I have the C. Text in another language. I got lots of that. Um, a car. Translucent paper is my paper here. Um, something with fins. I have these all with fins. And then the bonus is the receipt. And I've got that kind of torn up everywhere. So now we can just add little things that we might want to add. So let me see. What was I thinking just now? Oh, a little more vellum. Because this could make kind of cool. Like bits here or something. It would be good to go over that so that you can see that it's that transparent paper. Let's go over this 
Und you stick down. Stinko. my light bulb. Oh. Another piece of this just because I like it. <clears throat> I like the bubbles and stuff. This way. I don't think I want it that way. I want to see that little bit of transparency over here. Okay. I think that's good. Two twenty p.m. <laughs> I don't know. That's what it says right there. <laughs> I don't think I need another one of these, but do I want that there? Yeah, I think so. Some were screaming yes, some were screaming no. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry if you're on the no side. <laughs> Congratulations if you're on the yes side. Okay, let's just do a few little stamps. moving on that vellum and then it messes it up.
Um, I need something else, but I don't know what. A lid on my glue would be good. Ooh, that one did good. Okay. Don't want anything else. I think I'm good. I think I like it. So that's another week, week 37 of the CW Planner Challenge. So I hope you guys are enjoying this and I hope that you um, give it a try. Even if you're just jumping in now, it's just super fun. And I think it really does help your, um, you know, your collaging. It just makes you think outside the box, which is always good. We like to stay in our comfort zone, but um, it's kind of good to sometimes do something that makes you get outside of your comfort zone and um this challenge has been great for me that way because yeah there's a lot of times like this week when it's like I don't have any idea what to do but you know here it is so I did it and I, I really do like it I think it turned out kind of cool different anyways all right so I hope you guys have an awesome evening and awesome rest of your day and um we will chat again tomorrow love you guys bye